A week ago, the Council of Ministers of the East African Community agreed to allow seven days of course-free COVID-19 testing for truck drivers stuck at the Malaba and Busia borders with Kenya. The strike over the COVID-19 testing costs led to a shortage of fuel and as a result, skyrocketing costs. For instance, a litre of petrol, which cost about 3,500 shillings last Monday, is being sold at between 4,800 shillings and 6,000 shillings at most fuel stations in Kampala. Hoima Oil City last week recorded the highest price of petrol of 12,000 shillings per litre. In Kabale, people are still flocking the fuel stations. Gilbert Otim, the marketing manager at Starbucks International, explains why fuel prices may not return to normal soon. It will eventually still be expensive fuel. The fuel that is on the line into Uganda, on the jam, cannot come in as cheap fuel because it has incurred costs during the strike. So, to be honest, I don't foresee the drastic drop as people may think because there are some people some companies that have stock which they bought expensively the crisis has not spared fort Porto city where only two out of 14 stations have petrol people are now buying and storing petrol for future use which the fort Porto resident city commissioner roger simbabazi says should be stopped we need to tell the people that the situation is going to change. They shouldn't over store this thing, uh, the, the, the fuel in their houses because it poses a risk. Government has warned fuel dealers against overcharging, but the players say they cannot be blamed. So what sparked this problem was purely an issue with the health officials at the border. So it is spilled over to us and eventually it has spilled over to the local people. So I think this is not a time to find blame. This is a time to learn, heal and find possible means to never go back to such a situation again. Meanwhile, several fuel trucks are now entering the country after the strike was called off. The immigration department says it will take them about two weeks to clear all the trucks. Testing has been uh, uh, called off until the backlog is cleared. Uh, as of last week, it would take us about 14 days to clear uh, the backlog because the trucks are quite many. The drivers were being charged $30 per test. Many of them were also transporting goods beyond Uganda. <laughs>